Hi everyone, this is Dave, and what I've got here is the Doji Valencia 2 Y100 Plus. This is a Google Android based smartphone with some really nice specifications. We've got a 5.5 inch HD IPS screen, a quad core processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and 16 gigabytes of storage. The front facing camera is 5 megapixels, and the rear facing camera is 8 megapixels. Through software, this goes up to 13 megapixel. Uh, interpolated photos. We've also got a flash that complements the rear facing camera and a rather decent speaker. Now inside the box you do also get this clear or not quite clear like a frosted plastic cover which is really nice and if we remove this you will see a very nice finished back. This is reminiscent of the OnePlus smartphones it's got like a rough feel to it, nice and tactile, nice and grippy as well. We've also got the Doji branding on the back of the smartphone as well. Now, inside the box with mine, I'm not sure if you get these at retail level, uh, but Doji also sent me a couple of backs. The backs are interchangeable, and we've got a couple of different finishes here. We've got a sort of slightly off-white speckled finish, and then also this uh, gunmetal metal, metal uh, or metallic finish on the back as well. Very, very nice indeed. So back to the smartphone itself, let's turn this on. And the user experience on this is pretty good. It's running Google Android 5.1 out of the box. And we've got a nice resolution screen, not the highest resolution you're gonna get on a 5.5 inch display, but perfectly acceptable. A nice amount of brightness as well. Google Play Store supported, so you can of course install any application that you want. Uh, we've got the app tray here as well, which gives you an idea of what's pre-installed on the device. And overall, it's a really nice experience, a good turn of speed for a budget end Google Android handset with very, very good build quality. One of the things that's really impressed me about the Y100 Plus is how solid it feels in the hand. This back is made of such a nice material uh, that it just feels like a more premium device than the actual price suggests. With regards to battery life, more than good enough for a day to a day and a half use on a single charge. The camera, if we pop into the gallery, let's have a look at some of the photos I've already taken. And it's not the fastest camera to react, but the actual results are quite pleasing. This was taken in low light. We've still got a nice amount of detail, a little tiny bit of noise creeping in, but overall a very good result. Again, this one here was taken in low light and it resulted in a little bit of a soft image. But add light to your subject and you get some really crisp results. I've been very impressed with how this camera has actually been performing, but you do need to use it in good light. I think that if you are using this outdoors especially, you're gonna get very good results. Now overall, the experience with the Y100 Plus for me has been very good indeed. I think it's a very good option if you're looking for a budget end Google Android smartphone without spending a lot of money, but you still want decent specifications and a good overall experience. The build quality is fantastic. The fact that you get a screen protector and that protective back inside the box, I think makes it overall a very good deal. This is the Doji Valencia 2 Y100 Plus. Thanks very much for watching. Please do check out the links in the video description. Please hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in another video very soon.